Hi everybody, welcome to the South Australian Sports Show. I hope you can stay with us till the next hour. Before I introduce the great Barry Curtin, we have got plenty coming up on the show. Craig Warman's going to be in with Terry Crook and they had a ripping weekend, great of win. course, yeah. down at Victor Harbour. We want to have a chat about them, yeah. what went on with Southern Districts. Yeah. Uh, Gary Thompson's going to come in and have a chat about the Simpson Cup. Rachel yeah. Bug, former Olympian, is going to talk a little bit about the lead into Tokyo, her Olympic experiences, Andrew Capel, I think. Possibly yeah. the best journalist and the advertiser. Yeah, nice Been in it for 41 years. He's going to be a special guest. Mm. Lots to talk about with him. As I get to Barry Curtin, Baz, how are you? Good, thanks, mate. Now, just really quickly, good. mate, I know you want to gloss over this quickly. Uh, Port v Melbourne, 31 yeah. point loss. Yeah. Uh, we're in July. I think the finals were played in September. Are we, yeah. some people reading too much into it? Impressive, Melbourne. They were very impressive. Yep. Uh, I, I thought that the two sides that Port have played at Adelaide Oval that were really good were Western Bulldogs. They were really good the day they played Port, but Melbourne would shock me. I went into that game quite seriously, mate. I was a bit, I was more nervous about the Hawthorne game the week before. Really? Yeah. I, I thought, no, we've always had Melbourne's measure, but they were very good. They were good. You know, Port have got a lot of blokes in the shed, still sitting in the shed. It's July. I thought the, the media were harsh on Port Adelaide. Who was the harshest? Corns, Graham. Kane or Graham? Graham. Graham. Well, yep. to call that defeat, a humiliation. It's five goals to the top side, uh, and you know Porter got some There's real guns sitting scores. in there. Well, I just uh, thought, you know, and, and 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 of course the the other word was that uh, we would be the subject of ridicule, which I find staggering. Mm. It's a staggering piece of journalism. Uh, it's not even journalism to be honest, because I think humiliation was. Uh, I think humiliation was more like kicking you're two you're goals. It's a bit tongue in cheek. That he no, I don't. Like, I think I think the guy's got a chip on his shoulder. Gee whiz. If you don't mind me oh, saying that, I'd like to get Corns in and have a chat well, with him. Well, mate, yeah, because it, look, he, he could write an article about uh, darts yep. and he would still mention Port Adelaide in there somewhere. <laughs> no, I mean that. I'm serious about it. All right, we'll get so, Corns in. Anyway. What about the Crows, of course? Disappointing. Yeah, that was there. disappointing. Goals, yeah. Is it, is it that one that um, we've seen a lot of the coaches uh, who we highly respect say, whether they're current coaches, past coaches, you need to have 50 games under you yeah. to physically be able to put up with the yeah. speed, pace and everything else that goes with playing AFL footy today. Yeah. They've had a, a fairly good run into the buy. Yeah. Buys come and then it looks like the young guys are cooked. Looks yeah. like they can't go like on. Is that, now, is that a fair yeah, assessment? I, I think it's think? fair. Yep. But I thought Essendon would do that to them. I thought Essendon would beat them well because Sorry, they too, play well. Do we not realise how valuable Tex Walker is to that? Oh, game? of course. Of course they miss him. You know, he's copped a lot of criticism. Yeah, over the but he's had a good year, mate. He's one of their leaders, and it's a prime target centre half forward. Draws yeah. a lot of attention. Yeah, you know, they only kick a yeah. couple of goals. Is that a key factor? Of course, it's. Well, it's a it, look. Yeah, you take uh, you take the bont out of uh, the, oh, the yeah. Bulldogs. You take a couple of guns out of Brisbane. You take these blokes out, and your side becomes beatable. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are on the ladder. If you lose your gun players and Texas a gun, for Adelaide in particular, right now, yep. they're going to struggle. Yep. They'll struggle. You watch this week. He'll be back. He'll play against West Coast. Yep. And he'll kick a couple. Yeah, gee, West Coast were disappointing too. Well, West Coast they, were very uh, disappointing, yeah. Hey, I want to ask you, because we're going to get to a break. A couple of journos were talking on the weekend about Nat Fife, what a great player he is. Does he yeah. go down as Fremantle's greatest player? That was the, the gist of the conversation. I thought, gee, was Matthew Pavel has to come into there. that conversation. Has, has he done there. enough? To Five. be seen, yes, as better than Pavlik at the moment? Uh, gee, I reckon they'd be... Does a Brownlow middle get you... Yeah, I think pass? so. Yep. Uh, right now, I would say that they are... Oh, neck and neck, aren't Exactly. Right. That, that's exactly where I'd and put them. Because can go a bit Pavlik more, is a great player. You forget over time, that's what you I'm do. saying. He's you do, he's a great player. He's a fantastic right, we need player. to get to Jamie, of course, with the news very shortly. Jamie's getting ready, he's warmed up, mate. He's going to be ready to go. Let's get to Jamie, see what he's got with the news. Cheers guys, what a week it's been for sport. I'll be taking you through it all with SA Sports Show's weekly wrap up of local news. The highlight of international sport this week was Italy's 2020 victory. However, in Adelaide, hundreds of Italian supporters banded together in celebration. Much to the disappointment of the English, Italian fans marched through the streets with flares, adorning the statue of Queen Victoria in the square with an Italian flag. After making their way down Carrington and King William Street, the jubilant celebrations moved onwards towards Parliament House. Funnily enough, the Italian supporters at Parliament House were less than 100 metres away from the English at Adelaide Casino. In Super Netball, the Queensland Firebirds have defeated the Thunderbirds with a 63-47 to 47 point win in Round 10. The first half of the match was a back-and-forth battle, eventually steering in the direction of the Firebirds in the third period. 
The stunning game was the fourth win of the season for the Firebirds, bringing them up to fifth on the ladder. The Thunderbirds remain in seventh place and are set to play West Coast Fever this Saturday in Perth. In the National Premier League this week, we saw two of the league's top teams, Metro Stars and Adelaide Comets, go head-to-head -head in a 2-2 draw. The Comets controlled a leading position until the 90th minute, in which Connor O'Reilly and Francesco Shimizzi scored, securing the tie. Adelaide City are currently sitting in the number one spot on the ladder, with the Metro Stars in second and the Comets following closely behind in third. In the footy last week, we saw the end of the SA Country Championship. Southern District were crowned the winners of the men's round, and Northern District took away the women's. At Victor Harbour, South defeated Central District with a well-executed 43-pointer, claiming their first title since 2015. Bailey Marshman was awarded the best under-21 player, with coach Scott Wendelborn taking out the Bill Murdoch medal as overall coach of the men's championships. In the women's round, Northern claimed their first title in a four-point win over Murray Southeast. The pair of Northern coaches, Phil Neal and Anthony Tidball, together took out the award for coach of the Women's Championship. Coming up after the break, we've got Terry Corcoran and Craig Warman ready to tell you all about the SA Country Championship for themselves. I'm James Tenikoff and we'll be right back in a moment. <laughs> 